is up, Scar Knight, bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Part 9? I think it's 9. It almost went like a song, and I said Let's Play again, didn't I? Uh, in the last episode, we took care of some stuff. I, I actually, I just realized, I didn't do the beginning part like a newspaper, like, Oh, in the last episode, I'll do that in the next episode, I promise. I, I just, I'm just like... Kind of uh, binge recording, so that it explains it. Either way, I need to stop walking and like introduce my Pokemon first. Our Pokemon for today, we got five Pokemon, and our first Pokemon is our Saving Grace Hilda, Bold Nature with the Vital Spirit ability, and with the move Scratch, Yawn, Fury, Swipes, and Mega Kick. I should probably teach a Brick Break, so first thing I'm going to do before I forget and go onward, I should give it Brick Break. Because I felt bad when I could have killed Eradicate with Brick Break and I didn't. So before... Hero Killer and Brick Break? Oh yeah, it can't. Why no it can't? Why does Ultra... There's so many things. I don't think this is correct. What the heck? I need to look that up later. Uh, I want to get rid of Fury. Hmm... Fury swipes 18, and then Scratch is 40. After two Fury swipes, it'll be stronger. Yeah, let's just get rid of Scratch. I kind of just rather have Scratch, so I don't know. We're gonna infuse this in your brain, okay? Is that okay with you, Big Roth? Yeah, you're okay with that. I'm sure you're okay with that. And Hilda learned Brick Break, so now it's even more powerful than before. Anyway. The next Pokemon is the Untouchable Gengar, the Levitate ability, Lonely Nature. It is not affected by ground, fighting, or normal moves, so you can't touch this. Dino can't touch this. And it has the moves Hypnosis, Lick, Nightshade, and Curse. And uh, yeah, Electrite Voltage. Do to do Mountain Dew, Quiet Nature. I don't think I said the do to do thing last episode, but either way, it has the ability Static and it has Quick Attack, Tackle, Spark, and Howl. And our next Pokemon is Vesuvius. He's too hot. Hot damn. Got the pull. He's in the fire, man. He's too hot. Hot damn. Impish Nature with the ability Pressure and Wing Attack, Ember, Fire Spin. Still no fourth move. It's a bit weird. Either way, our last Pokemon, Hero, the hero to you and to me in our colony, I guess. I don't know. Hardy Nature. We're, we're going to come up with something for Hero. Unless that's just it. I don't know. Dragon Flying type. Intimidate for the ability. Rage, Bite, Cut, and Headbutt. I gave him Cut because why not? I don't know. I kind of forget. I have a like a little mini flashback. I do feel like I uh, that Salamence can learn Brick Break, but that's weird. I don't know. Either way, in this episode, we're gonna go somewhat backtrack over to Palatine and all that other stuff and get some s certain items. Uh, so we're gonna go through the Diglas Cave, try to make it to the other side, so we could get our old Amber just for future token. Uh, thingamaboppers, and there's a Milotic here. I would have loved to have that instead of the Metapod. No offense, Hardy Tech, but uh, it's the truth. I might have just, might as well train it. Train Hilda, because I wanted to get it level 24. But uh, yeah, so we could go do that. Uh, oh, that that's something I, okay, I remember what I was going to bring up in the last episode, because I was trying to remember it. Uh, the whole dupes claws, species claws, shiny claws thing. Like, I never showed off the pictures to it. So, just for pointing it out, this, we already know what dupes claws says. You saw the little ditto picture. Let's just point it out again. This is dupes claws. Alright, so, uh, the reason I put ditto is for the obvious reason that he copies things. So when it's a copy of all Pokemon we already caught, that's why I put I decided that to be the image of Dupes Claws. This is Species Claws. So I decided to use Nidoran Girl because technically speaking Nidoran and the other Nidoran aren't related, but I wanted to have them as like a common thing, you know, just so you guys are aware. Break, break you. I don't know why, but I am. And shiny claws. 
Of course, I decided to give Shiny Magikarp his golden time because, you know, Shiny Gyarados was the first Shiny after all and, and, and Magikarp. It's, it's, you already know. It's, it's that type of thing. We already made it out of the Diglett's Cave, though. I just wanted to give that as a quick reference. I remember that, um, I, I might have already pointed out and you might have already seen it, but in the grinding montage when I was here, the very first grinding montage, there's actually Celebes in that grass. And I already mentioned that there's Groudons in the other grass to the right where I got Salamence. So, uh, I know there's a trade over here. So, I might as well check for what trade it might be. He's telling me about information about something I don't care about, to be honest. I'm looking for the Pokemon Dunsparce. I want to trade it for my Lunatone. Lunatone's another Pokemon I owe many things to. Just like Jump Bluff. For a certain battle facility. Maybe I should make it up for them. Like, they did this so much for me. Lunatone, Sneasel, and uh, Jump Bluff. It was three Pokemon. Um, either way, though. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can go through the Rock Tunnel. Alright, are you... Yeah, the Professor Oak's 8. Alright, so 10 species of Pokemon. HMO 5. Let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yeah. Only 8 kinds. Shoot. So I won't have Flash. I was uh, debating whether I should use that as a grinding montage as well. But our only chance on... Sneaking that in maybe is like if our pallet encounter is a cancel Pokemon maybe So we're, we're gonna go to uh, Pallet town right quick. Oh, and we can also get a encounter for Viridian City That as well. We got an old rod. So uh, Let's start this in order. Let's go to pallet town because there's no reason to go there at this point uh, Story wise we could go there right quick Because there is indeed water and I would like to go step into this water to go fish. Why? I could read behind the thing. Teal, you got a stupid sign. I'm sorry. Alright, either way, so, <laughs> uh, fish right quick with the old rod. What Pokemon awaits us? If it's right, you or Blissey is going to be a bit strange, but indeed, we are going to go fish some more. And I don't want to put in my select button, please. Could I just have this and it's on the hook our first encounter for ballot town is oh god it's a Gyarados it's not exactly new but it is a Kanto Pokemon nonetheless and I need to not kill this thing because it will die so I'm gonna yawn it's pretty cool hey Gyarados is pretty cool hopefully it's not like it has Dragon Rage or something it has Thrash so if they could hit itself in confusion a couple times, that'd be nice. I don't know how many... Okay, I guess I got that many Pokeballs. That's good. Um, we're gonna be able to get a couple of encounters today. Did I yawn you yet? I think I did, right? I was confused. Alright, okay, and it's asleep. That's good, that's good. It's really, really good. Okay, let's go throw a Pokeball. One. Uh, okay, that's just one. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go throw another Pokeball. I mean, there's not really much else to talk about. I mean, Gyarados is a very, very good Pokemon. Except, I, the, the fact is, I can't put him on my team because he's a flying type for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't see wings. He doesn't float except for that Mewtwo movie because Mewtwo made him float. So, I don't know. I know when he mega evolves, he doesn't even become a dragon. He's water dark or whatever. See, if there was three types, he would definitely be a dragon. Other than that, he should have already been. You know? One, two, three. There we go. And I, I just realized that. Uh. All right. Well, I already came up with the nickname. Uh, it's another King Nappy nickname. Rarely seen in the wild, huge and vicious. It is capable of destroying entire cities in a rage. Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go name you. I believe GLaDOS is what he calls you. Except I, I also believe that it's like this or something. Along those lines. 
Or is it... Hang on. I think it's like this, actually. Lados? I'll just keep it like... It's probably not that, but... I'll, I'll make it look like that. Either way, that is our encounter for Pallet Town. We got nine Kanto Pokemon. I don't... I mean, Moltres would be one. There's Gligers here. I would have been okay with the Gligar. See, Miltank is uh, the first Pokemon I caught in this place. Um, well, what was the other thing? Okay, so we got Moltres. There's Camera Ups here too. I would have been fine with Camera Up. Uh, I'm trying to remember what other Kanto Pokemon. There's Charizard. That's two. I don't know, but this is the Viridian City encounter, so we could go... Right, I didn't mean to take my bike out. I thought he was in my select screen. Old Rod. So our Viridian City encounter will be... And immediately on the hook... A Lapras. Another Kanto Pokemon, so perfect timing. This is really, really, really good. Oh, I guess because... Oh snap, I just realized Magikarp counts as the token. That, that would count as my Kanto Pokemon. So that's three already. And then there's Marowak, that's four. Jigglypuff's five. Seal six. Metapod seven. Gengar's eight. Yeah, yeah, I already got... Okay, that, that makes sense. Alright, alright. I'm glad I did the map, because I would not figure it out otherwise. Either way, Lapras, you're going to be mine, and then I will get me Flash. Indeed. Instead of me, uh, you know, doing other things that I'm not supposed to be doing, I will be trying to catch you, basically. I don't know. It, there's not really a train of thought here. It's just obvious. Alright, Lapras. I know that it is a bit hard to catch. Oh, and I got my Vital Spirit on. Dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I don't know. Ugh, come on, Lapras. We have not fought everybody in the root, in the right of, uh, what's his face? Uh, Pewter City and Mount Moon. But I'm going to still try to avoid trainers. And I might just skip over Mount Moon, and you're just going to see it on the small screen. Uh, because I just want to go... Uh, by the end of this episode, I want to be in front of the Rock Tunnel. Basically. I don't know. And then I'll wait for you guys to say whether you... Because I haven't seen the comments for the SSN thing. I just want to see if you guys are okay with it. And there we go! We got ourselves Lapras. I don't know what to call you, though. A Pokemon that has been overhunted almost to extinction. Extinction? It can ferry people on its back. 485 pounds. Jesus, it's kind of heavy. Uh, I'm just going to call you... Is it Dory? Is that the name of the one in Mario 64? I'm probably going to spell it wrong. I'm, I'm just going to spell it like this. Is it just that, Dory? I'll just call you Dory. It might be two R's. The crew... Oh yeah, I need to I need to fix this up right right quick. Let's go over here. And we're gonna fix the crew up. Yeah, totally. Alright, we're gonna move this. Alright. So GLaDOS and Ch I almost said Chun Li. That's a different Lapras. That looks very much like Lap uh uh, Dory, I see that's why uh, things happen because I say things wrong. All right, either way, we're gonna go over here, gotta get ourselves HM05 for Flash. Unless there's, I don't know how the heck I just failed. I went down between the ledge and the other thing. Uh, we're gonna go through here just so I don't have to go back and forth in the Viridian Forest. That's so much easier. And I'm fishing for a legendary, or not a legendary, uh, well that too. I was gonna say shiny Pokemon. Maybe, hopefully, luckily, we'll get a shiny Pokemon. 
Let's go put her, get on her bike. I probably should have done this sooner. But, uh, yeah. We're back in Pewter City for a future token because there's stuff back here, which I would like very, very much. So, so I willed so. Hello, sir. Shh, listen. DNA! I, I mean, you told me you should. It would be staggering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say! So I have to ask. I have a favorite task. Why would you get this examined at the Pokemon lab somewhere? And Crimson received the old hammer from the man. Why is he called the man? I don't know, because he is the man. That is why. Don't question him. Anyway, we got ourselves the old amber. That is another item for future token purposes. And we're going to try to avoid as much trainers as possible. Oh, jeez. That scared the life out of me. I, I just need to remember who I faced and who I didn't face. I know I faced this girl right here. So, let's get on my bike. And I will be right back. Just in case I do run into a trainer, obviously I'll put him on screen. Otherwise, I won't. But either way, I'll see you on the other side. Alright, I made it to the other side without battling any trainers. And the weird thing is that uh, Team Rocket's still there. I thought for sure that they would disappear. I don't know. That's that's extremely awkward. Either way, um, I haven't healed my Pokemon. So I might as well be right back in a second. I, I just realized I probably should still put this on screen because you guys already see the screen on the bottom right. <laughs> so uh, scratch what I say and just you know just just ignore me. Um, yeah, so I already battled everybody from the SSN and then the uh, the place upwards and the place downwards and just pretty much everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna go over here. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm talking like. I'm almost nervous, but I'm not. So there's the grass up there. I don't remember her being there though. We got. It's been like about three minutes, I think. I don't know. Let's just destroy everything with Vesuvius. I haven't seen Vesuvius in a while, so let's go use Vesuvius. If you have a Pokemon with you, you're mine! Wow, you just, like transition voices there. If you have Alicia, yeah, four Pokemon. Perfect thing that I have Moltres out against all your things, right? Just gotta Ember you. Yeah. I can't wait to reach that grass when I reach that grass, you know? I'm gonna try to skip as much trainers as possible either way. I think there's two encounters we can get in this, today's episode. Unless we also have time for the Rock Tunnel. Or I could save that for the next episode. For suspense, you know? Depends how much time we got left. But I might just do that. Or maybe I won't. Secrets. I don't know. All these oddishes and bell sprouts, man. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, just let me know about the whole thing. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 feeling a bit weird today, clearly, because I've been I be talking weird things. I also be grammaring wrong. So we be her without a problem. I'm gonna go just go down here to get that. Oh, aerial ace! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh! Ah, <laughs> running across and stuff. All right, I'm gonna try to avoid this guy as much as I can. Come on. I'm gonna wait for him to turn right and then turn the other way. Go, go, go! Okay. Oh, I have to. I'm um, required to face him. Dang it! Alright, what do you want, man? I got up early every day to raise my Pegman from Kikin. Good for you, man. Good for you. It sounds like you're living the life, Brent. Alright, you got a B drill, though. Which is kind of scary. You know, they should have 
I don't know. I always feel like... Like, for bugs, you don't see many Butterfreeze and Beedrills at all. I, you always see, like, Butterfree, like, after the root, or the root before Vermilion. And then you see Beedrill at this point. But you don't see them that often, you know? It's a bit weird. Uh, either way, the Suvius is almost level 24. I should probably switch into a different Pokemon. So yeah, the is level 24. The next gem is gonna be pancakes. Like I swear, it's gonna be too easy. What? I said pancakes. What a total waste of time. I guess he's not a breakfast person. Uh, let's go switch into a different Pokemon either way. Um, like voltage? No, there's a lot of grass Pokemon out here. I'm just gonna go into hero. Aerial Ace would be a good move for him. I I'm just gonna wait just a little bit. But for right now. Our first encounter in this route, which I don't know what route it is, but I know for a fact it's a new route. So, the new encounter will be Hariyama. Okay. It's not bad. It's a female Hariyama, so I literally don't know what to call you. I can't call you Fat Pika because you're not a Makuhita. Um, you should live a bite because you resist it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. Arm thrust. Okay, come on, are you really gonna hit me five times? I'm just waiting, man. Oh god, that was a crit. Uh, I have been told that Hariyama actually has an easier catch rate than Makuhita, so it won't be hard catching you. Uh, so let me try one more bite. Hopefully it doesn't crit, and then I'll throw the Pokeball. I still need to figure out a name for you. I mean, I could just give you a generic sumo wrestler name. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I can't really... I, I mean, what female sumo wrestler is there? And I, I just imagine that there's gonna be, like, really rude female jokes like, Oh, Oprah or something like that. And then you guys get to point out that I said it and not them. I'm just gonna call you Yokozuna. Which means, like, I mean, besides the, the being a wrestler about Yokozuna, there's also, uh, it also means, like, the highest martial uh, sumo wrestler status. So, Yokozuna it is. Alright, let's go uh, head over and uh, actually... Are you serious? Bahaha, <laughs> great. I was bored, eh? God dang it. Caught me, little punk. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I'm trying to go, man. Be free in the world, you know? Alright, let's go do one more headbutt. Hopefully I could avoid other trainers. You know? Onyx. Uh, who do I go against? Oh yeah, Yokozuna's in my team at the moment. Uh, I'll just go into Ultraviolet. I'll just Nightshade you to death. Alright, Nightshade. Actually, I could have stayed into Salamence, but he does have Rock moves is the only problem. Alright, it's almost coming up at 30 minutes, so I need to hurry this up. Alright, so that is it for Onyx. And that is it for Hiker Jeremy. Keep it coming, eh? You're right. I guess. Alright. Uh. Hopefully, there's not an item down there. Can I avoid you? Dang it. Go, my super dog Pokemon! Bug catcher Connor with the three Pokemon. All right, he has a Caterpie at this point in the game. You know, we're almost halfway in the game. He still has a Caterpie. Great. All right, we're gonna go headbutt you. For some reason, I thought I had uh, Gengar out, but apparently I don't. So that's cool. 
Weedle. We gotta headbutt you. And Venonet. Okay, that's new. We haven't seen a Venonet in a while. Or at all, rather, in this game so far. He lives! It's a miracle. You know, there's a lot of weird things about Venonet that he does resemble a Butterfree because of the face. And he's purple. And his face. You know? Headbutt. Come on, please don't hit yourself. We can't be... Okay, good. We can't be doing this, man. Level 23. Heroes level 23. There we go, we beat Connor. My bugs. Alright, let's try to avoid some more peoples, please. Oh god, you walk. Okay, I'm going this way then. I know you for a fact you battle. And I know for a fact we could avoid you. And here we are. Where are Route 10? Where's this route though? Route 9. Alright, Route 10. I'm gonna go heal right quick, so I will be right back. Thank you. So as I'm putting my Pokemon away, aka Hariyama Yokozuna, I realize I didn't get FLASH! Let's get our encounter. I, and I decided to extend- Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That is crazy. What do I do? Would you die from a rage? I'm 10 levels higher than you. I feel like you would live. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah, that sucks. Oh. Oh, there's a fee bass here. Okay. It would have sucked having a fee bass because it would have been impossible to evolve it until Milotic because you really you, you in the future you evolve it by trade but in this game you have to evolve it by max beauty and there's no contest but yeah I I, I decided we're gonna go get a rock tunnel encounter that is just insanity oh my gosh I just literally basically what I do you know just in that moment <laughs> anyway Rock Tunnel, welcome to it. We're gonna get ourselves an encounter before anything else, and then uh, off screen, I will get myself Flash. By off screen, I mean on screen. Ooh, another legendary! Let's got ourselves a Reggie Rock! Oh wow, <laughs> we're getting lucky here today. We're getting lucky here today, except the fact that he's a rock type and I can't do sh eight. So yeah, we're gonna do this. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna probably go for Hilda right quick. And uh, I'm almost done here. <gasps> oh, no! No! Oh, he lived! She oh, my freaking... Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, I almost lost Hilda. What's going on? These legendaries just don't care. These legendaries just don't care. What is that? That is some monkey stool, if I ever seen some. I don't know. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I said all day. <laughs> I don't know. If you like this episode, however, please press that like button. Smash it, if you will, for all the legendaries of teleporting and exploding. You know, those one turns say bye-bye to the legendary Pokemon moments. 
And uh, join the White Tigers and Dragons are two teams I split to fight for the right to vote for my 10th Let's Play. Or maybe for whatever Let's Play that is rendered by Fives in the future. Be sure if you're interested to join them because they are two teams that uh, are a strong army. Very, uh, I want to say like supportive and proud uh, teams that fight for the right to vote. And if you are interested in that, join it and you have been scarred by the night. Did I, by the way, say that twice? I feel like I repeated the same thing twice, literally. I don't know. Either way, you've been scarred by the night. I'm out!